Hello, my name is Justin and I'm one of the founders of Artwork Archive. In this video, we're going to be going over how to generate and use QR codes. For those of you not familiar with QR codes, there are those machine-readable codes consisting of an array of black and white squares and are typically used for storing URLs and other information for reading by a smartphone. The QR code feature in Artwork Archive is available on our Artist Master, Collector Premier, and all the organization version plans. And while there are a variety of ways these codes can be used, the two most common use cases we see are for internal inventorying purposes and for providing more information and access about the work to a public, to the public. Let's start with the inventorying side of things. This particular use of QR codes is most commonly used for collection management and can be looked at as more of a modern day version of asset tagging. In order to get to that page, you'd click on Artwork, New Report, and then select QR Code Labels. So let's say I was inventorying all the works at a particular location and wanted to label them with more than just the basic information. In this case, I would create a QR code label that links directly to that internal artwork record. What this means is that when a particular label is scanned, it would bring that person to the internal record of that particular artwork so they can get more information on it and be taken to a screen where they can add additional details. So in this particular case, this would be the internal record that they would get access to when they scanned it with the smartphone and they can click edit, add and update information, add new photos, and then update the record. When you're creating the label, you have these options here of being able to include the artist name, creation year, medium, inventory number, and you'll see this distinction here when choosing which link you prefer on the internal version or the public version, which is an external link. In the particular example I was just giving, when you're choosing information from a specific location, I could simply use our filter feature and filter down to that location. In this case, I'll choose main campus building and then go ahead, move those over, and generate the labels. And here's what the labels look like. This can come in really handy in the internal inventorying phase, as well as subsequent audits or assessments. There's also going to be occasions where you want to use QR codes to help provide the public with more information about a work or to provide them a way to view the information online at a later time. In this case, we're going to go through that same process so clicking on artwork, new report, QR labels, we're going to choose which information we want to include, and then we're going to cl click public page links. And what this does is it takes them to the publicly viewable record and is only available to those of you who have activated your public profile or the public instance of that particular piece. So I actually just used this feature for a recent mural festival I was involved in that added QR codes next to the murals throughout the city that gave viewers the ability to learn more about the art and artists involved simply by scanning the code with their phone. And we see this feature being used often by artists and organizations for their exhibitions and public art installations. There are a number of other ways to take advantage of this new feature, but we wanted to showcase some of the more popular uses and give you a quick tour on how to generate the codes. As always, please feel free to reach out to us at info at artworkarchive.com if you have any questions or recommendations, and we thank you for taking the time to learn more about this newest addition to the platform. Have a great day.